it just may be time for me to trim some of the fat around here. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Alright, so this week I'm going to show you how to trim videos using Pinnacle Studio. So let's jump right into Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to get great content like this every Saturday. Alright, let's get into this trim thing. So there are multiple ways that you can adjust the length of a video clip or remove parts of a video clip. You can split or cut a video, or you can trim a video. Splitting video is most useful when you want to remove segments of a video from the middle of a clip. So let me show you just how to split a clip. So you see I got clips down here in the timeline all over the place. What I want to do is I want to click on the clip that I want to select by using a left click of my mouse. And then I'm going to place my playhead where I want to split the clip. But in order to do that, I'm going to place my cursor over the top of the playhead till I see this line with two arrows. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this so I can see exactly what's going on in the video at each part where the playhead is by watching my preview window. So once I get my playhead to a place where I want to split it, let's say it's here where this pole comes up. Once I get my playhead to a place where I want, then I'm going to click on the split clips button. Now I can go ahead and drag the playhead to another position. Let's say where the pole is out of frame here. And I can click on the split clips button again. Now I have three separate clips. So what I want to do is I want to remove this middle piece. So I'm going to left click on that with my mouse. And then from here I have two options. I can click on the delete selected clips button or I can right click on the clip and select delete. So right now I'm in overwrite mode. So you can see that I'm in overwrite mode by hovering over the mode selection button. And when you delete clips while you're in overwrite mode, a gap remains between the clips. As you can see, when I remove that piece, it left a gap here. So I can drag this clip or this clip, I can drag either one of them wherever I want. New position, new place on the timeline, whatever I wanna do, I can drag them next to each other and do all kind of good stuff. So I can do that to get the clips where I want or if I want to, I can right click here in this empty space and I can click on close gap and it moves everything on that timeline over. So be aware that if you use that option, everything on your timeline track is going to move when you're in overwrite mode, smart mode, Insert mode, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna move this back. And I'm just gonna drag this over. So it has the, the magnets on right now, as you can tell. So it kind of snaps into place when I drag it over. So I'm good to go there. Now, let's say I'm gonna go back to move this clip back where it was, where it was three split clips. So I just clicked on the undo button until I got back to this section here. So now if I was in a different mode for my timeline mode, like if I was in smart mode or insert mode or replace mode, then when you delete a clip, then the clips will move to close any gaps on the timeline by itself. So let's say I put this in insert mode. And now I click on this clip and I click on the trash bin. It moved everything over. There was no gap. But once again, it moves everything on that track over. So just be aware of that. 
So I'm going to move this back to overwrite mode because that's the mode that I like to edit in. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and move this over to keep all these things where they were. So I do have one last tip about using the split button. If you do not have a clip selected and you place your playhead over multiple clips and you click on the split clips button, it will split every clip that the playhead is over. So be aware of that. If you just move your playhead somewhere and you just wanted to split one clip, make sure you select that clip because otherwise it's going to split all of them if you do not select a clip. All right. Just wanted to give you guys that pointer there. So that's it for splitting clips. Let's talk about trimming them. Trimming video is a great tool to use when you want to remove segments of a video from the beginning or end of a clip. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you how to trim. You want to place your cursor at the beginning or the end of a video until you see a line and an arrow. Make sure your cursor is low enough on the video clip because if it's high up here, you're going to see the fade tool or the transition tool, which is a line, and a little carrot. So make sure you see the line and the arrow. You can do that at the beginning of the clip or at the end of a clip. Once you see the line and the arrow, hold down your left mouse and drag the clip in the direction that you want to go ahead and trim. Once again, you want to use your preview window so you see exactly where you're trimming it to and where the, the clip will begin playing. Or if you're trimming the end, where the clip will stop playing. So this is basically a, a really good way to trim the beginning or the end of a video right there in the timeline really quick and easy. Once again, you can move the clip to where you want to move it and you're good to go. Now, you can also use the trim mode to preview the end result of what the trim video will look like in your project. So if you place your playhead between two video clips and I'm going to go ahead and click on this clip and it'll automatically place my playhead between these two clips. What I can do then is click on the trim mode button. And then I want to click on the window of the clip that I want to trim. So the one that has the yellow border is the one that you're trimming. So I can click on either one of these. And if I click on this one, I'm going to trim the end of this clip. And if I click on this one, I'm going to trim the beginning of this clip because this is where the playhead is at. So once I get the video selected that I want to trim, I can hold down my left mouse and drag this to see the preview. So on the right, I see where the video is going to start playing. On the left, I see where the video ahead of it or really below it and ahead of it on the timeline will end. So I can trim it just by dragging this to where I want. Now, once I have it trimmed how I like, I can use this loop play button and it'll show me a preview of what the trimmed video will look like in my project. And in the right preview window, you see it all playing out. So it's a great way to check and see if you like how it looks before you exit the trim mode. Now, if you want more precise trimming, you do have trim buttons down here that you can use to go 10 frames backwards or 10 frames forward. Or you can go one frame backward or one frame forward. So that's a great way to get really precise trimming done without having to leave and go back to the timeline and trim it frame by frame. 
And once you're done, you just go ahead and click on the timeline track wherever you want. Takes you out of trim mode or you can click on the trim mode button again. It will take you out of it. And that's it, people. You got your splits. You got your trims. And now you can get to editing. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Blu-ray Ben. Blu-ray Ben makes videos on movies. So if you want to watch some videos about movies or movie reviews, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's doing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to receive a shout out like Blu-ray Ben did, make sure that you head to our video description and fill out our shout out request form. Also, if you want to make a tutorial request, you can find our tutorial request form in our video description as well. Fill that out, and then I'll make a decision on whether or not I will make that tutorial for you. Now that we're done with that, I need you to do a few things for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you've got any comments, questions, or you just want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.